This animal symbolizes patience, tolerance, and endurance. People have this misconception that its hump stores water, but what it actually stores is fats. When these fats are used up, the hump deflates and becomes small. Huh, margin. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the camels. I'm here in this big city, Nairobi, trying to see if I can spot one and see how it survives in this big city. Follow me and see if we can find one. We found one in City Park and another in Pipeline Estate in Nairobi, giving rise to customers. Curiously, we also wanted to find out where do these camels go to after doing their job in the city. My journey led me to Gidurai, which is 12 kilometers from the city center to meet one man who is passionate about camels and keeps them to earn a living. Mwaneki keeps males that only have one hump, which is the dromedrian type. The other type of camel is bacterian, which has two humps, and it's mostly found in the Asian desert. As we continue with our conversation with Mwaneki, one of the camels tells the others to wander off, and he runs off to bring them back. So what do they eat when they come to Nairobi? Chakula, kuna chakula ya duka, kuna chakula majani kama hizo inakula huku, na kuna akina cabbage, sasa sina uso, sasa kwa soko, sikuna magada inatulawa juu, hiyo huwa ndiyo napea. Gamia haikuli sana, gamia sio kama ngobe, haikuli sana. Huku hata hasikunyua gimaji, hata ukipea haiwe sikunyua. Moneke prefers bringing the camels when they are young, as they adapt easily as compared to when they are grown. This is because when they are grown, they take time to adapt and are prone to diseases. Gamia ikifika huku, inafikaga hapa ikiwa hajui kukula majani ya huku. Kuna sile dawa huwa inapewa, unaita daktaria na itibu, juu ya kubadrisha hiyo hewa. Sasa ikijisha atibiwa, Kifika huku mara ya kwanza au lasimo uwe unaipea majani, uwe mwenyewe juu, huku uwe inakata. Ikikaka, sasa inasoea environment na inaedelea tuna kukula. Sasa inakua sawa adapted to the environment. Gamia huosho, kama ngobe tu. Gamia mahali inakaa, kituwe kwanza huko inakaa unafaa huwa napiga dawa. Juu, kuna, kuna, ikiwa ni mahali kuchafu, Kuna magojo inapataga kama boilers, magojo igine ya gosi. Mwaneke hires out his camels for carnival business, which he also does himself. He takes them to parks like Uhuru Park, City Park, and also estates like Pipeline, Umoja, and Buruburu. A ride on a camel costs 150 shillings for an adult and 50 shillings for kids. This price varies with the location the camels are taken to. A dromedrian camel can carry weight between 300 and 600 kilograms. I bet it finds human beings very light in weight. Despite the fact that camels are very harmless, they do not come cheaply. One costs between 80 to 150,000 shillings, and its milk costing 150 shillings for 500 milliliters. The next day, we head to City Park, which is one of the parks in Nairobi that Mwaneki operates his camel business. We find that his business has already begun, and kids who are his main customers are ready for the rides. Uh, so here I am conducting a camel ride. So I am getting ready for my camel ride. Very nervous, very anxious. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I'm 
my camel ride was amazing, amazing. It was awesome. Scared at first, but truly really worked for the best. She'll try it one once in a while. She'll try it, by the way.